Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're told if f of x is equal to x squared plus 10 sine of x, show that there is a number c such that f of c is equal to 1000. And so the way that we're going to prove this is using the intermediate value theorem, which states that if f is continuous on the closed interval from a to b, then if we pick n to be some number, right, any number between f of a and f of b, right, any number in that interval, as long as f of a does not equal f of b, if we pick any n, then there is a c, right, some x value equal to c, where this is between a and b, and f of c equals n. So what does this mean for this problem, right? If we're saying, okay, this is x is, or sorry, y is equal to 1,000. If over here, the value of the function is like 1,500, and here it's 500, they're saying there's no way, if it's a continuous function, to get from here to here without crossing the line of x is equal to 1,000, sorry, y is equal to 1,000 once, and saying, okay, at some point, this function equals 1,000. So we can say from theorem 7 that x squared, which is a polynomial, and 10 sine x, which is a trig function, we can say that they're continuous over their domains. And that since just by their nature, this is all real numbers. And by theorem four, we can say if we're adding them together, if we're adding two functions together that are continuous over all real numbers, the sum f of x is continuous over all real numbers, and therefore we can test the intermediate value theorem. And let's say, okay, we want to pick two x values, a and b, such that um, f of a is less than 1,000, and f of b is greater than 1,000, meaning at some point between a and b, the function is gonna equal 1,000. So an easy number for less than 1,000, a equals zero. f of zero, plugging in zero into x here, zero squared plus 10 sine of zero. Sine of zero is zero, so this is zero squared is zero plus 10 times zero is zero plus zero equals zero. So this is less than 1,000. And then we have a need to have a number that's greater than 1,000. And so I am going to pick um, 100 pi. F of 100 pi is equal to 100 pi squared plus 10 times the sine of 100 pi. Sine function is cyclical. So every two pi, it repeats. So if sine of zero is zero, then so is sine of two pi, four pi, six pi. All even numbers, even multiples of pi are gonna be equal to zero. So this is 100 pi squared. So this is 100 squared times pi squared plus 10 times zero. 100 squared is 10,000 pi squared plus zero, we don't even have to write. So is 10,000 pi squared um, greater than zero? Well, let's extremely uh, lowball this and say, okay, let's just assume that this is a little bit smaller than it is, right? This is 1,000, or sorry, 10,000 times pi, let's just approximate to three. This is 10,000 times three times three is 90,000. So since pi is a little bigger than three, we know this is a little bit bigger than 90,000. And 90,000 on its own is already greater than 1,000. Therefore, since f is continuous on all real numbers, and f of zero is less than 1,000, and f of 100 pi is greater than 1,000, then we know by the intermediate value theorem that there is a C such that ST 
f of c is greater or is equal to 1000. I'll rewrite that for clarity, such that f of c equals 1000. And I'll actually, I'll move it up because I wrote a little bit off the page.